Councilmember Craig Rice was first elected to the Montgomery County Council in November 2010, at the time becoming the youngest African American ever to serve on the nine-member council and the second African American man to serve in that role. It's a lot of pressure. Having a great leader like Ike Leggett come before you also was a lot of pressure. There are a lot of expectations. We have a new council president, Mr. Craig Rice. In 2013, Craig's colleagues elected him to serve as president of the council. In 2014 and again in 2018, he was re-elected to a four-year term. Uh, I had sworn when I first ran for office, there were some things that were deliverables that I wanted to make sure happen. Uh, those were a hospital in Germantown. It's one of the main reasons why I ran for office. When Holy Cross Germantown opened up, uh, truly was that full delivery. Craig has served as a lead sponsor for more than 50 pieces of enacted legislation. So when it comes to the Montgomery County Food Council, uh, we passed a piece of legislation before the pandemic began. Right, these are great to put in the rice and the beans and nice. the Nice. Yes. Right? Great source of protein. So, you know, when you look at the ZTAs that allowed for our zoning text amendments, that allowed for Clarksburg to move forward in terms of having a grocery store, when because of planning decisions, uh, that wasn't allowed. As the District 2 representative on the council, Craig represents the most geographically diverse district and the fastest growing region in Montgomery County. You no, know, it's really interesting because a lot of people don't think about Montgomery County as being incredibly diverse from a geographic standpoint. But especially in my district, uh, to go from the foothills of mountains to the agricultural reserve to an outlet mall that's one of the number one producing outlet malls in the world, all in one district. It truly says a lot and it really says something about what Montgomery County tries to be and that is something for everyone. You guys have so much power and don't realize how much power you have. With a deep commitment to education, bio -lits. Craig has chaired the council's education and culture committee since 2013. We changed the school system. Today is Monday, September. Before, we didn't have a school system that could actually migrate to an online uh, setup. So thank you very much for being here. In addition, Craig organized a series of education forums throughout the county to discuss public education issues. And it was just nice that you're so approachable. As well as the county's budget process as it relates to education. I think the parents just want to know what is the likelihood of these until we know for sure, until that ink is dry on the Budget Reconciliation and Finance Act, you need to keep that foot on the pedal. We also changed our education system in the state of Maryland and here in Montgomery County. It explains each one, so you've got number one. Uh, Prioritizing, making sure that when it comes to college and career readiness, making sure that we pay our teachers more, uh, working with our youth who need a little bit of extra help early care and education from the beginning that all children have the opportunity to be successful for some of our littlest ones to make sure that if they do have learning uh, disabilities or differing abilities we can identify them early but also providing them uh, the utmost of care but it really spoke to why we needed to do more to incorporate our children's voices for Moira Johnson from Montgomery Blair High School our winner <laughs> and so having the council member for a day program that we started uh, actually did just that challenging them to talk about something that was important in their community and then write an essay about it. I've been crying about my experience with my mom's uh, cancer treatment, basically. She's now a survivor of breast cancer. It really is a shining example of, you know, kids and voices and lifting those up. And then with the Ignite Hub, well, Apple and the Montgomery County Economic Development uh, Corporation and uh, Montgomery College had already partnered together in creating something called Montgomery Can Code. And it was an opportunity for kids to have a three week long program where they learn about coding uh, and create apps. So out of those meetings came the idea of this Ignite Hub. Three, Ignite! Ignite. A place where you could bring in kids and take Montgomery Can Code to the next level. So my app is called Math and Do. We were the first group to be able to do Montgomery Can Code. Um, we decided that we wanted an app that focused on efficiency but also not just with our kids. Our community wanted to program as well. Uh, and we had businesses that were looking for app development to help them to make their businesses stronger. Councilmember Rice is also on the Health and Human Services Committee. 
As a part of the Health and Human Services Committee when George Leventhal was the chair. Uh, we're at Fenton and Wayne in downtown Silver Spring. He invited me to come out to uh, these uh, homeless counts. What's your name, dear? Folks are experiencing homelessness at different times. A person may be housed today, they're, but it really is a point in time. Yeah, yeah, we can go down first and then come out. And we were out there in the woods, under bridges. Nothing back here. All over the place, looking for homeless and talking to them. Uh, do you communicate well in English? Yes. Okay. Knocking on people's car doors, uh, as you saw. And then mental health, have you ever had a problem with alcohol or drugs? No, never. In fact, right here, steps away from this building. Let me give you some stuff here. We've got some gloves, some socks, some chapstick, and then we've got a... And it was eye-opening. I don't want that for any one of you. And he advocated for safety. It is not okay to kill our kids. It is not okay to kill anyone in this community. And it is not okay to be silent about it. We had um, a young man who was uh, killed, Jalen Jones, uh, stabbed multiple times in a horrific murder. We made a vow today to make some changes on behalf of all the children in this county. Jalen, you did not die in vain. Uh, and creating this walk against violence was incredibly important because we made sure that folks heard and understood that we weren't going to take it any longer. And so it's interesting because after that walk, things calmed down. It's the power of community. Always striving to do better, leaving a lasting legacy of excellence that his community and family will always remember. I'd like to say, I'd like to say that I made my mom and dad proud. Um, because they gave me everything um, to be this person. And um, it meant a lot to me because there was a lot riding on their investment in me. And we know what we believe in. That's right. And just keep your training right in front of you. Right. Don't let it go. Thank you, Mommy. And so from that standpoint, that's where the drive comes from. It's that so much that I was given meant that there was so much that I had to give. For my residents who elected me to office, for those people who believed in me, who gave me their last hard-earned dollar to help me to get across that finish line for my campaign, I owed it to them. I owed it to all those people um, who said, that's a person who looks like me, who's gonna represent us. Is that your dad? No, actually, <laughs> good question. Who's gonna care about us and make sure that we get what we need. And that's what I tried to deliver.